Tingxin to me means divine mind or sacred mind. Tin means sacred or heaven or divine. And to have that kind of a mind means that you walk with dignity, with humility, with honor, and use the power that you have to help people. And, and, and so this is about the way a man walks. <clears throat> when I developed this walking stick, this is the original, this is kind of the holy grail to me. This was designed as a walking stick, but certainly it was designed as something that, God forbid, uh, you would ever have the need to defend yourself, that this would certainly be uh, a billion times more than ample, <laughs> uh, because it certainly would uh, double for a sword, a staff, a club, all of the above. And so when I got together with you, Ron Balaki, and, uh, and then Thompson, I think Lynn was very humble with me in saying, listen, I, I am really pleased and impressed to see your knowledge of, of history, of edged weapons, but particularly uh, the, the weapons and their function, what they meant in the different eras. And, uh, you know, the thing I love about Lin is he really tries very hard to learn the pragmatic use of each of the weapons that he's manufacturing and selling. And that's what made me decide to go ahead and lend him my expertise in designing uh, edged weapons that are, most of the time, they're taken from my weapons that I've collected that, that range over a thousand years. So most of the weapons you'll be seeing uh, in cold steel are weapons that I have taken from the annals of history that are actual Japanese samurai weapons that I've um, modified and used inside cold steel to benefit uh, the different needs that we may have for modern day. We are making this one now in cold steel. It certainly serves a function to help you walk or anything else that you may need as a man of honor uh, and, and a warrior. All kinds of martial artists, serious martial artists, get injured all the time. They have knee injuries, leg injuries. This is something that they can use to help them walk or, God forbid, help them defend their lives or the lives of their loved ones or innocent people. I would use it exactly as a sword. If I need to use it as a walking stick, that's what I would use it for. If I need to use it as a club, I would use it as a club. If I need to use it as a spear, I would use it as a spear. And I can tell you, one master once said to me, if you cut someone's shoumeng, which means on the top of the head with a sword, it may take three or four seconds for them to die. Five mm -hmm. seconds, a minute, who knows. He said, if we cut you with the bokken on top of the head, you will die instantly. Hmm. Don't forget that. Sword and swordsmanship are tremendously vital to my style, to my life, my uh, way of understanding the martial arts. In Aikido, for example, O-sensei always used to say, every movement in Aikido comes from the sword. And hearing that in my early youth, I was raised in Japan, I started to study sword whenever and wherever I could. There was an old adage, uh, rather than spend 10 years uh, studying as hard as you could uh, under one art, spend 10 years to find the right master. There are legendary people in history like Yagyu Tajima no Okami no Mune Nori, people like that. Deguchi Nahi was my spiritual teacher in Japan. And she gave me this moon. It is five circles which symbolizes the ume, the plum blossom. So in terms of yin and yang, it's just after the darkest moment at night when it just starts to turn into dawn. It is that moment, that those five circles symbolizes that. The tsurugi is the double-edged blade and that symbolizes living a true, honorable life under God. Meaning, when you do evil, the top of the sword will cut you. When you do good, 
the bottom edge will serve for you and cut for you. It is the sword of justice. That's awesome. I love it. Thank you.